Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I create 3D models of plants. So if you're a landscape designer or landscape architect and you use 3D animations or 3D renderings, you probably run into the problem that you can't find the plant that you need for your design. So for this example, I'm going to be using Amelianthus major, which is a really cool plant from South Africa, really unique foliage and color. And so how we start with this is we're going to need to find an actual plant. So once you find your plant, you're going to want to take a cutting of one of the leaves. So this leaf, it's a pinnate leaf, so it starts at the base here. And what you essentially want to do is you want to get one leaf that represents this entire plant. So this doesn't work for every single plant, but for this species, uh, one leaf uh, can represent the whole thing, one copied. So you're going to want to take a blank background, a white or black paper seems to work best. Um, in this scenario, the, it was fairly foggy out, so it was perfect in ideal conditions for photographing, so you don't get any distinct shadows or hard lines. So here, just taking a photo of the bottom as well, uh, just in case I wanted to map the bottom photo, but for this case, we're just using the top photo. And once you have your photos, you're going to want to open it in Photoshop and um, you're going to want to cut out the background. So use the magic wand tool here and then mask out the background. And so here I'm just uh, masking the little difficult spots there are to cut out just with the brush tool and the masking tool. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to end up saving this as a PNG file. So there's a transparent background and then cut out any imperfections. So just a symmetrical, even, perfect little leaf that we got. So save it as a PNG, and we're ready to move into SketchUp. So once you have your SketchUp file open, you're gonna to wanna to import this image. And as you can see, it reads the transparent background because it is a PNG file. And I always like to reference the plant photo while I'm doing this so I make sure I'm not missing any nuanced details of the plant shape or form. So here I'm cutting out the shape of the leaf just to make it easier to work with. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take one of these right side leaflets. I'm not going to cut out every single one, I'm just going to cut out one, dissect it down the middle you can see with this leaf that the they kind of arch each little leaflet side kind of curves up on the each edge so now I'm gonna take another leaflet from the left side and I'm just gonna create two distinct leaves so there's option for variation so we could if we rotate these we can have four different leaves so it just creates a more random and unique leaf uh, so it's not duplication of just one leaf over and over again. Makes it much more unique. So here I'm copying the mid rib of the stem and I'm going to cut that out and then attach these modeled leaflets which have more 3D dimension to them since they're, they've been rotated and have like a V shape to them. And I'm gonna copy these over the image file that we imported. So it's gonna read as 3D and just kind of get all the nuanced imperfections of the leaf. Because in 3D, the things that really stand out are the things that look perfect. The things that look real are imperfections. So that's the trick to modeling a plant, just getting the nuanced imperfections. So here I'm curving the spine of that leaf stem. So it represents kind of the photos that we're looking at of the plant itself. So when you find a plant, just keep referencing the photos. And here we're just attaching the leaflets to the stem where they would naturally connect and then rotating them so they align with the leaf stem itself. And just do different degrees for each one, just slightly different. The little imperfections really go a long way on rendering. And so with this one leaf that we create, we can now create the entire plant from this and rotating it around a single stem. So one of the tricks I like to use is actually employing the golden ratio or golden angle here. 
So what that is is 137.5. So if you rotate these leaves 137.5 degrees, it's gonna kind of emulate what leaves naturally do in nature. And so the reason they do this is to maximize exposure to sunlight so that the leaves are never really overlapping. So here I'm gonna import that SketchUp file into Lumion and just gonna play with the materials for a bit to see if they can get things right. So here I cooled down the color of the leaf a bit, edited the texture a little bit and added a texture here to the stem. And for rendering here, I'm gonna create a little vignette, but I'm just gonna group this one model that I made and try to make it into a natural grouping of melianthus. It's a pretty informal shaped plant. Uh, just create a grouping of stems, very wild, very unique looking. And I'm just gonna keep editing here until I get a nice vignette just to showcase how this model will look what you guys can also do. Well, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.